good morning how are you guys doing i just ended hold on let me get y'all straight okay <laughs> i just ended a vlog wearing the same ensemble i forgot to um end that vlog off but i did i ended it off <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it but today i just got finished having a, a meeting so i just need to come outside and have a moment you just gotta break away some time when you're working from home. Just as, just as if you was in the office, you gotta just like take that 15, you gotta walk away, walk outside and ugh. So I got me some water, I had my coffee for the day so I don't need any more because you guys know my anxiety has been through the roof. But you know, you need your caffeine fix or whatever the case may be. I just let me be a little chatty this morning. I was chatty earlier so I sometimes I'll be chatty now. But um, I'm going to get my hair cut later on in the evening. And um, y'all, I went and bought some press on nails. I'm going to leave, these are, these are mine. And I'm going to get these wraps taken off probably about two weeks or so. And I'm going to let this ride, as I paid for it, I'm going to let this ride out. Like when it grows out. Then I'm going to try these press on nails. I'm going to show them to you. <laughs> and... I went to Ulta. Well, I went to Target to buy the press on nails. They were like four dollars, four, four, four forty nine or four fifty nine, something ridiculous. And one was like eight dollars. That was the fancy ones. So, and I don't mean fancy like rhinestones. I mean fancy like a, like a French manicure or something like that. So I um I purchased that, and it's supposed to last for two weeks. So we'll see. Give my 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 nails a rest from getting um gel wraps. And since I'm getting my hair cut today, I'm going to talk to you about my brush cut hair maintenance or how I maintain my brush cut after I get my hair cut and how I maintain it in between cuts and stuff. Like right now, I just I just washed my hair last night and I brushed it down. And then I put um, some cream, put my do-rag on. So it's flat now, but I want my hair to be flat when I go to the barbershop so when he cuts my hair, everything's laying down. He does comb it out but i like it when it's flat so he can get a nice good you know good cut and then i come back home and i take a shower and i wash all the pricklies out that get caught in my scalp so i gave you a little update right there <laughs> but um yeah i'm going to show you what i use in products and brushes and stuff i keep it but i still have the same brushes that i use when i first started my brush cut i didn't buy a new brush yet I just keep it very simple. No need to buy new products. If it works, don't fix it, right? Yeah, so I want to come in and chit chat. I've been having so many things crawl on me today. Let me tell you, oh, let me tell you, I had to um, kind of doctor my plants up because some of the leaves are turning yellow. And I had to ask my mom, cause you know, she's into plants. She was like, you know, you have to understand some of these plants came from, oh, came from different homes so now it's getting used to the new home climate temperature all that different stuff and then you repot them so they have to get adjusted to what's going on just as if a human would get, have to get adjusted to what's going on so i'm like look y'all i can't have my leaves turning yellow and breaking off so i was kind of devastated this morning about that so stuff is just crawling on me i sat in this chair i didn't dust the chair off first like you know ants and stuff be on the chair so that's my morning thus far i'm gonna drink my water i'm gonna enjoy this morning and then we're gonna once i finish my day we're gonna go get a haircut and um i want to go oh i'm not going i want to go back to target i don't know we'll see i want to treat myself i had a rough day yesterday not yesterday i had a rough day sunday and i still didn't treat myself for that rough day so we gotta go back in time. <laughs> hey y'all. So, I had to gas up this vehicle here. Let me tell you, this older car is here. The tanks be so big. Cause my other car, $20 full. And that's like a little SUV. This little big one here, 40, 50, depend. Ooh. Depending on what the price is at the moment. Oh my God. 
I have to wipe my hands off. Oh, if I'm using the gas pump. But y'all, let me tell you what I've been thinking about. Back to school. We are back to school. I was in Target yesterday, and I might go back today. And the back to school section is in full force. You guys know I'm a stationary freak, so anything with paper pens and all that good jazz i was all in i bought me some erasable pens i think i told you already but i'm telling you again and i'm gonna go back because i want to get some more i could wait until my daughter get um do her school shopping Woo, it's hot i can't wait until she does her school shopping and then i can um get them then This gotta move. But um, yeah. Back to school is in full. Can you even sit back and think like majority of the kids will be back in school? Let me know for those of you who have kids, grandkids, so forth and so on, if your kid is gonna be going back to school, going back in the building. You know, mine did virtual the whole time they was out. So now she's gonna go back into um, school, go back into the building for high school. She's excited, I'm excited for her, you know. It's gonna be new for everybody. So pretty much everybody that's gonna be inside the school, it's gonna be new for them. Cause either they just start in high school like her or they, when they, as soon as they got in the ninth grade, they got taken out. And they're gonna be, um, I think sophomores at that point. So yeah, it's 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 gonna be interesting. It's it's gonna be. I'm excited for her. I'm excited. I can't wait to go school shopping to buy clothes, pencils, pens, notebooks. I was on a school website trying to look for like you know in middle school and elementary. They usually have like what you need your, your school supplies you can get beforehand. I'm on it for the high school trying to find out what they gonna need so I can go ahead and go get it because I'm like ready. I'm so ready. But yeah, I'm, I'm just happy for these kids because a lot of kids, you know, it, it messes with their um, social skills and it messes with their learning, you know, because some people, some kids like to be in the classroom with the teacher, you know, that, that extra security to ask that question or to ask their classmate. I know my daughter wanted to, so I know. But I'm gonna not ramble about that any longer. I'm about to go in here and get my hair cut. Ain't nothing like a fresh haircut, y'all. Ain't nothing like a fresh haircut. Hey y'all, look at this fresh cut. Y'all, it ain't nothing like a fresh cut. Let me bring y'all in. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Ain't nothing like a fresh cut. Mm, I feel so good. But let me get into the products that I use really, really quickly. Nothing um drawn out, nothing drawn out. I'm gonna sit down really, really quick. Light is gonna be different because I'm inside of a room. But um, let me just show you what I do to maintain my brush cut once I get my hair cut or in between my haircuts and so forth and so on. What I do in between my haircuts, I just use regular shampoo, anybody's shampoo. It could be sulfate free, it could be sulfate and I don't care. I'm not that picky when it comes to my shampoo. Do I condition my hair? No, I don't. I really don't condition my hair that much. If I remember, I'll put some conditioner and I don't go out and buy like conditioning masks and so forth. I do buy it for my daughter, my youngest daughter, but to put in my hair, I just shampoo and then what cream I put in my hair, that's pretty much what conditions my strands because I get my hair cut so often. So I don't go through that process of women who may have longer hair, even a pixie cut where they're going to clip their ends and keep things done because I get a haircut religiously every two weeks or sooner depending on how I feel. Do y'all see this haircut? Ah, I just love it. So, let me get into my brush. This is considered a medium brush. It's just a regular palm brush. I think this is that Chad Moss. He has a line out. And this is what this brush was where all the writing is off because, you know, it's an old brush. The brushes that I have are when I first started wearing a brush cut. And that was two years ago. And it might be two and a half at this point. I have to go back and look. i never forget when I got my hair cut short. I was the next... That day, I was driving out to an agency out in Lumberton in North Carolina. And I went that early that morning, got my hair cut, and then I got on the road I was to Lumberton. I was like, oh my God, how am I going to do my hair? How am I going to brush my hair? Because my hair wasn't laying down 
at the moment. So I bought a do-rag and I said that same do-rag, it was a pink do-rag. You can use whatever you choose. You can even use a scarf if you want to, as long as you just, however you choose to wear your hair. Like my waves, my waves are not pronounced at the moment due to, um, let me see, maybe you can see a little bit. Due to, um, he combed them out. But this is a nice palm brush. It's considered a medium soft brush. So this is what I use when I want to like just brush things down when I'm in the shower and things like things like that. Here is a hard brush. This is a no name brush from the beauty supply store as well as this one. This is a hard brush. I didn't care what brand it was. I don't, it didn't matter to me. Only it was hard. I only, I use hard brushes when I take off my do-rag. And I want to get my front to be nice and, and clean and sharp. Or I use a hard brush. Like even when I'm in the shower. This this is this is a lot of water damage on here. When I'm in the shower and I want to just kind of really get through. But using my hair is much longer. Like right now it's kind of it's short. He cut it down a lot. I'm just going to use this brush right here. And the cream that I use on my hair. This is all I use. And I may use some coconut oil. Matter of fact, let me get the coconut oil so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So what I use, I got, I went back and got the coconut, the coconut oil. So what I use, I used to use Carol's Daughter, any like Coco Creme styling cream, any kind of thick cream because my hair is coarse. So any kind of like twisting cream that you would use in your hair, anything that you can lather in your hand. So if your hair is coarse like mine, that is something that you can use. I wouldn't recommend using using like waving um cream or any type of wave stuff because it's, it's kind of waxy. I don't like that feel. I don't like that look and it looks cakey and your hair gets dirty really quick. You start seeing like little, this dirt. I don't like that look. So I use a nice cream. It's conditioning your hair as well as it's making your hair lay down and it's making your, your curls curl up and go into the, the way the hair is laying. So it makes that wave. So I stopped using the Carol's Daughter. I stopped using the, I had a shade moisture. I had them all. So I started using this one. This is the small one. This is only nine bucks. Now, if you have more hair than me, you may not want to play with this. But um, this is the Patterns Styling Cream. This is a Tracy Ellis Ross. Let me just bring it in for you. I'm trying to get it. There you go. They do have a big jar of this. And the big jar is $25. So you might say, Kelly, why you just don't get the big jar? This is my second time using this, right? So this is my second small $9 jar. I don't need much. Now I could have bought the big one and I could have refilled this one. So if I go like out or anything like that, I haven't been anywhere. I can use, um, I can take this small jar. But I like this, but I don't want to commit to this. That makes any sense. Makes any sense. That big jar would definitely be cost effective because I have bought two of these so far. So that's nine nine eighteen. The big one is twenty five. So the 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 smart thing to do at this point is to get the big one, but I don't want to commit to this. Um, it's nice. I like it. It does the job. It smells amazing. It smells fresh. And I feel like it works its best when my hair is freshly cut. If my hair is longer or has grown out, it doesn't give me the same effect. So it doesn't do really well on my longer hair in a brush cut way. Twisting, possibly. I don't know. I don't have that much hair no more. But um, I'm not sure I want to commit to this and buy it again. So we'll see this go around. This is a new one. I just picked this one up yesterday. So I haven't even opened it yet. Really, really nice. This is what I use. So when I want to make my hair shine. So if I do this at night, I get in the shower, wash my hair, brush, brush, brush. I get out. I put this on. Put my do-rag on in the morning. It is looking really, really nice. So... I don't use hair sheen or anything like that. I don't use hair grease. So this is coconut oil. This is this is solid now. But this is 100% pure coconut oil, deep moisturizing for skin and hair. I'll take a little bit out. Just, I mean, when I tell you a little bit, a little bit, melt it in my hands. And sometimes this thing melts all the way and I have to like put it in the fridge or something. My hands are super shiny. I just go across my head and then just make it shine. And when anything's left over, I put on my hand. That's it. Now, there's probably some others. I got this from Walmart for about seven bucks. But this is all I use on my hair. I don't use, I don't have a bunch of products. I don't be brushing this in. I don't be brushing that in. I don't be doing setting lotion. I don't do any of that. This is all I use. These, 
these little four things. This is it. So when I go away and I pack my bag, this is it. Prior to, I didn't have this. I had maybe something else, but it would be a small jar. I don't really buy the big ones anymore because I don't really want to commit to anybody's styling cream. Yeah, unless if it works, it works. Keep it going. But it's good to change. It's good to change. Now, I also mentioned to you that I bought some erasable pens. I wanted to show you what I got. So I bought these erasable retractable pens. These are them right here. You've probably seen them before. I'm going to go ahead and open them. I'm going to use one. Oh! The erasable, it, nothing fancy. I don't have to open it, but this is what I bought because I am a pencil user and I'm trying to get myself back into using pens. I only sign my name in a pen when I'm using like documents for at work or even like documents for you know personal. But um, I'm gonna be going back in the office and we like to use pens and like to have paper, so I'm trying to get back into the group of things. But I need to start using more permanent ink because I don't want my um signature to be erased. But for my planner, this is definitely a way to go because if you mess up, you can erase it or you can use a whiteout strip, whatever you choose to do. This is my long list that I did in Target. I had to get like toiletries and stuff. I needed like new shower gel, all that good stuff. Next time, if you want to see that type of stuff, you know, I like stuff like that. I be want to know what you using, girl, how you staying fresh, you know, all that good stuff. So I like to, I, later, let me know if you want to see it before I even get into it, what I be using. But I picked up this Juevas Place. It's a bronze lip gloss. I got bronze sugar. It was, I guess it's new. Anybody have seen this package before? When I walked in, it was right in the front. So usually when you go to Ulta, anything in the front is new or they're trying to promote it or whatever the case may be. They only sell this in Ulta. That's why I was in there. Other than that, I wouldn't have been in Ulta. Oh. Look like everything else I got. <laughs> so let's see because I can wear it okay let's see oh smells good oh oh yeah something I already have <laughs> but we love it though don't we it's called bronze sugar really nice nude it's super glossy super 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 glossy i could just tell right here so it'll be a good top or it'll be good to wear on its own because it's opaque so really, really nice. so that's a good buy how much was that i don't even remember i just picked it up 13 dollars what the heck oh my god this is nine mm. put that over there mm. Okay, so you guys know I went and bought some press on. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the light down that I have on in front of me. So, so I was gonna turn the light off so you guys can see these press on nails. I'm gonna hold them back. I'm sure you can see them. These are the French tips. Now, I saw so many YouTube videos about these press ons. They're not super glossy. That was one of my concerns about having some press ons that was like super, super glossy. These are, um, the Never Chip Tip Everlasting Ultra Comfort Press On Nails by Kiss. So I picked these up. I'm only thing I'm concerned about is that my nail bed may be a little bit too big for these. So we shall see. I will hold on to my receipts because if my nail bed is too big, don't need for me to keep these. And these were these were $8.29. And it's supposed to last for two weeks. If they last for a week and a half and you got to re-glue one or something like that, the whole kit comes in here. You got the glue. I see glue right here. The little file is in here. Everything is in here. If that's the case and everything all works out, I can save a trip to the nail salon. And I can save, what, 50 bucks, 55 bucks and just get my feet done? The next one I picked up was the gel. This is the Kiss Gel Fancy Collection. So I love a nude shade, just like a nude color. This one seems like it might be a little bit bigger, so I might can get away with this one. So this is ready to wear gel. 28 nails is in here. Mega adhesive tabs and glue included. So this one was $4.99. So I'm excited, y'all. I'm stoked. I'm ready. I don't know about you, but I'm going to wear these. You know, this is my gel. This, these are my nails, so they're pretty long. 
I need to cut these suckers down. I'm going to wear these wraps on my nails. Um, maybe till next week or so. And then I'm going to get them off that my nails rest for a little bit. I'm going to cut my, my real nails down. And I'm going to see. These are super short. Which I don't mind short nails. Because it's easy for me to type and I can do more work. <laughs> I don't have to limit myself. But yeah, I wanted to show you that. I want to talk to you about how I maintain my brush cut. I want to show you my press on nails. Girls. Ah. <laughs> you know what? I miss kind of making videos in this kind of atmosphere. Where I'm just kind of like just sitting down. But I do love a vlogging and moving around and all that. Because I think that it gives more character you get to know me better and whatnot but i do like just sitting down I'm a, I'm a little lady thing sometimes so <laughs> i shouldn't say that about myself but you know you want to chill you be wanting to chill so i want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me and all that good jazz and i want to say hey to all my new subscribers hey to all my loyals and if you have not yet subscribed and you made it this far in the video go ahead and subscribe hang out with your girl Okay, see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>